Hello, this is the first day in 2012. I wish the whole world a, a revolutionary new year with a lot of justice and peace. And um, it was four days ago on, the, uh, on December the 28th, I gave an interview on the Iranian radio about the Swiss uh, history and their evil doings. And I also have a, um, I have elaborated uh, a way to establish peace in the Middle East. And the day after, I got harassed again and terrorized in front of my child by the Swiss police. Well, thank God I was not alone, otherwise they would have made me disappear. Or, the way that, or they would have suicided me as they did with a lot of people. They lied things together, they were very aggressive provocative, um, pushing me around, lying things, uh, presenting me as a drunk and a drug addict in front of my child, which I'm of course absolutely not. And uh, so why is it then that the Swiss don't want me to talk on the Iranian radio? And why is it that the Swiss don't want peace in the Middle East? Well, that's quite clear. They earn too much money on it with their Swiss banks, on war, on bloodshed, and on uh, an, an, uh, an unstable world. I mean, Switzerland, as I explained in the Pharaoh show already, is the biggest base of the Pharaohs, and the military wing are the Templars, and uh, their financial wing are the Swiss banks, and their political wing are the Freemasons. And um, I mean, this is what actually, this is part of my, the program I have. I mean, there's a lot of things that the Hebrew people and the Muslims have in common. I mean, both are terrorized by the Swiss banks, the Hebrews, um, in relation to the Holocaust and the Swiss banks. And the Arabs, of course, just all the dictators who are being financed and have the money on Swiss banks. And uh, what these people, what, what, what you have in common as well is you don't, you both are enemies with the pharaohs, secondly. And the third thing is you were both butchered and massacred and terrorized by the, uh, by the Templars who afterwards went to Switzerland. So look the pharaoh show. And, um, I mean, the Templars massively butchered Hebrew people in Jerusalem, and they did the same thing with the Muslims. So, if you don't understand this very quickly, that there is an en another enemy, which is far more bigger, who's trying to play you, so play you peoples out against each other, if you don't understand this very quickly, you will all perish very soon. So, unite against the enemy you have in common. And, uh, yeah. So, anyone can contact me and uh, I know I can do it.